What's up everybody? Katie from Mob Culture over here. I hope everybody's doing well. I would just like to thank you very much for all the following, the subscribing, the sharing, the viewing. Uh, you're helping me grow this channel and this is something I would really, really like to do. So if you're new to this channel, please subscribe, like, share. Uh, I'll be doing some photography tips for today. And today we're talking about CPL filters. So if you have a sick ride in front of you and settings perfect, lighting's perfect, shooting at sunset, you're in the groove, you're in that vibe, and you're shooting at a destination or location where there's so much reflections on the car. You go into post-production and you see all these reflections. You're wondering, oh, how did I screw up? <laughs> well, this nifty tool can really help you. So this nifty tool is a circular polarized filter, otherwise known as a CPL. So today I'm gonna to take you through how you use it and how beneficial this could be for automotive photography. So the CPL simply screws on on the front of your lens. So once the CPL is screwed on, all you need to do is turn. When you turn, the exposure changes and that's cutting the reflection from your object. So when shooting cars, you want really crispy, clean footage. You want any distractions or reflections of the car's paintwork. Removing reflections will actually make your images much more crisp and clean. So CPL prices actually vary on the size of the filter. The bigger the filter, the more expensive they're gonna be. So do some research before you actually buy a CPL. Know which filter size you should get for your lens and also work around your budget. This cheap CPL from Broadcast Lighting really did me wonders. But this is really cost effective and it really, really works. So this is your top tip for today. This is Katie. Please like, subscribe and I hope you really like this video. If you'd like more, please comment it below and uh, hope to see you soon.